Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and today we're with Mitchell Smith, the president and CEO of Global Energy Metals. Uh, the ticker is uh, GEMC on the Venture Exchange. How are you today, Mitchell? Good, Chris. Thank you very much for uh, for having us on today. Yeah. So uh, just for the best people who might not know your company, maybe you can just give a little bit of an overview, a quick overview of uh, what GEMC is all about. Sure. Um, so Global Energy, uh, again, publicly traded company, uh, we, we really focused on uh, offering our shareholders and, and stakeholders exposure to what we consider being um, a mega trend opportunity. And that's, and that's the battery metal supply chain. Um, and we're doing that through project level um, exposure and partnerships um, into uh, battery metal uh, assets in some of the world's top tier mining jurisdictions. Okay. And what would you classify as the battery metals in your, in your case? So we, we have a, a, a few um, the suite of metals that, that we're really focused on uh, are, are cobalt, uh, copper, uh, nickel. Uh, although we do have um, exposure to uh, to silver and and other metals through equity equity holdings that we have as well. Well, silver is a good industrial metal, so it comes into play in a lot of the better battery metal uh, cases as well. So you ha you've had a couple of news releases in September, I would like to touch on uh, for people who are following your company and and to get some interest from other investors. You had some uh, you know some results from some. Uh, geophysical work you had it done on your project in Idaho. You want to just touch base on that one? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we've had a we've had a very very productive uh, last several months, and uh, we anticipate the same uh, moving forward uh, uh, into the fall. Um, yeah, so uh, you know, in in Idaho, there was uh, um, uh, soil sampling and, and um, uh, mapping uh, program that was done as part of our Phase One uh, exploration program at the Monument Peak Copper Silver Gold project. Um, there's uh, um, some uh, airborne surveys that will be conducted uh, um, early early this fall, as well as a, as a follow on program. Um, you know. Very nice results that we've seen um, so far. Um, uh, the, uh, the the soil uh, and rock samples are are in the lab now, and uh, we expect to be able to uh, um, provide some uh, updates on that in the in the very near future. Great. And so, uh, what are you going to use uh, the results to do in, in the next step for this project? Yeah. So next next steps will be to uh, identify drill targets for the project. Uh, and, and ultimately build a, 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 a resource uh, estimate on uh, at Monument Peak. Um, you know, there's uh, some, some very nice high grade values that we've seen thus far. And um, you know, importantly, we've also been able to uh, fill the gap, if you will, between some of the known um, areas uh, and join those up and, and really establish a, a much larger footprint uh, uh, at the project. And when do you think you'll plan to do some additional or some uh, drilling on that project? Now that, that'll likely happen um, uh, early next year. Um, but, uh, you know, I think uh, uh, finding drill rigs right now has been, uh, been very <laughs> difficult uh, yeah. uh, as we've experienced on our Nevada assets. But, um, but we're getting there, too. And you also had a news release about your uh, JV project in, um, in Australia. Maybe you can comment on that, too. Yeah, some some very very uh, uh, excellent results um, from from um, from our partners with with Metal Bank. Um, you know, we've we've always seen uh, uh, the Millennium Cobalt Copper project in, in Queensland be uh, be a, a very promising uh, project. Uh, we partnered with uh, MBK uh, um, earlier in the summer, and and they've um, already initiated the, the the drill program at site, and you know came back with some some very nice results. Uh, you know, 2.92% uh, uh, um, copper and, and half a percent uh, cobalt. So, you know, very, very encouraging. Uh, and again, it, it um, really reestablishes our view that this is a, a very exciting project and, and warrants further exploration. Now, is there a resource already on that project? Uh, there is, yeah. There's a there's a jork uh, resource on the project, about 5.9 million tons um, at a one... Um, 1.05% uh, copper equivalent, um, um, and there's um, uh, NI43101. It's it's not uh, uh, compliant because it's based on those historic numbers. 
Uh, we did work as Global Energy in, in uh, 2018, 2019 on that project, and um, um, MBK or Metal Bank is, is now looking at the, the drilling they did, incorporating that into the work that, uh, that we did on the project and um, looking to uh, um, update that resource and we think maybe establish a, a, a much larger uh, um, tonnage there. And for a small company, you've got a lot of projects. You have another project in Nevada as well as one in Norway. What uh, you have any additional updates on those two projects? Yeah, you know, part part of our um, um, uh, investment mandate is is really to um, to provide our shareholders with mass exposure to um, to projects uh, in in jurisdictionally safe um, locations. Uh, you know, we see Norway as being a, um, a manufacturing hub that is really emerging into the European markets. Uh, having a project there that was a past producer that has very nice nickel uh, and copper and cobalt grades um, certainly uh, bodes well for, for us. Uh, we're working with the uh, majority owner on that project now to uh, find a partner that will advance those, uh, that project uh, in the near term. Um, you know, our, our Nevada assets um, that you mentioned, uh, Lovelock and Treasure Box, uh, we have a, a, a drill program planned. And, and as I mentioned, uh, drill rigs and crew have been very, very difficult to, to locate. Uh, we think that we'll be able to, um, to make an announcement on that in the, in the coming weeks here as well uh, and, uh, and commence a program um, to uh, drill uh, Lovelock uh, for the first time ever um, since it's been, uh, it was um, since producing many, many, many years ago. So um, look for that news re uh, release as well. You raised a little bit of money in May. Uh, what's your current cash situation like? And are you looking to do another financing sometime soon? Yeah, and, you know, I think there's, uh, there's, there's sufficient cash in, in the till right now and, and to complete on the programs that we have, um, we have planned. Uh, but um, you know, we're a, we're a junior resource company that that certainly relies on on doing capital raises, and we'll look to do that uh, do something in in the very near future. Um, you know, we are looking at other ways to um, uh, to crystallize or to to monetize on the projects that we that we do have that are non core to us, and um, you know, those mechanisms often come with uh, um, capital uh, as well as share equity. And you just uh, recently listed on the OTC QB market, right? So that should help. Yeah, no, we're 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 very excited about that, and uh, we think that it will provide uh, you know our U.S. shareholder or uh, U.S. Uh, investors an, an opportunity to uh, to participate in the company. And uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, interest, especially with the uh, um, domestic battery supply chain and exposure to it. So. Uh, having our projects in the U.S. be a focus for the company right now is, uh, I think, will certainly be an interest to um, uh, to to the U.S. investors. Well, that's great. Well, thanks, uh, Mitchell, for your time today. Um, it's a good update, and uh, I hope you have a, a great rest of the day. Excellent. Thank you very much, Chris. Appreciate it.